Hey guys, 91 Extreme RT here, continuing on with my Let's Play series for Final Fantasy XIV. And um, I didn't start exactly at level 1, like I said in the original video of the layout of what I'm going to do with this series, because there was a whole piss load of quests I had to do. Just like standard introductory quests. And I gotta tell you one thing, like the menu uh, navigating and everything is really, I actually really like it. The graphics are nice. Uh, it takes a little bit to get used to, uh, just like any other game. But uh, I'm not having a, a single issue uh, with it at all. So uh, right now, I just got done with all like the little mini quests around town. There's a lot more I can do, but right now, uh, instead of doing all the little quests around town and boring you guys, I decided to start recording at this point because I have to go kill some stuff. Some ground squirrels, little ladybugs, and forest fungers. So. Alright, battle. Right click to target, switch active mode, and ready auto attack. Bam, can I loot you? Can I loot you? Nope. Man, these graphics are really nice. Like, I'm going to zoom in. Alrighty, sir. Binding items. An item you have equipped is now bound to you, can no longer be traded or put up for sale in the markets. Okay. Juke, 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 juke. Starting off with this one ability because it increases my critical hit chance against the enemies. I'm starting with my uh, one ability first and my just regular spam one after that. Alright, slave forced fungus. Oh, are these these big things? Look at this thing. Tree and sand. Oh no. I have to find forced fungars. The buff lasts 20 seconds where I have a critical hit chance increase. No! I ran too far out of its range. Thought I'd kite it a little bit better than that, but. Kite, kite. Bam, dead. Ooh, leveled up. Force Fungar. Out of line of sight, there we go. Can't catch me. This is why I like having a bow. I just run circles around you while you die. Too slow for me. I'm gonna try sprinting. 
<laughs> I can sprint around them too. Too slow. How many more of these do I need? I need one more force fungar. There we go. I'm gonna try sprinting. Oh, I am sprinting around you now. What are you gonna do about it? Bam! I love that shit. Now, time to go hand this quest back in. Um, I'm going to check out the map here, see if there's actually a portal I can get. Yes, there is. There's actually one not far up the road here. And I can just portal back to the Archer's Guild. That's what's really nice that I'm liking about this game. There's little, there's main portals for towns, and then there's mini portals for every section in the town, like all the different guilds and whatnot. So you can pretty much just fast travel everywhere even within your own little town. So there's it reduces significantly the amount of time that you have to run anywhere. I have to get up over there. So yeah, I'm really enjoying these graphics. It's actually really good. It's not giving me a headache. Cuz some day, some games do give me a headache when I play them because the graphics are too I don't know how to describe it, like Lotro gave me a headache for some reason, I don't know if it was the perspective or, you know, the character moved faster than the ground did or vice versa, it was weird, but this seems pretty balanced and I'm enjoying it, so. Gonna run up here. A tune. Now that I'm a tune, bam, I can click on here. Cancel. No travel. Teleport. Oh my god. Sure, I'll just teleport there. I don't feel like waiting. But yeah, as long as you have gold or gill, as it is in Final Fantasy, you can teleport anywhere from any location in the game. You just click on the button and go there. It's kind of slick. So. But yeah, I'm going to show you how this actually works. Um, how you can port within your own town. See, right now I'm in this town right here. I'm in this, this town. I can click on here. I could just walk over there, but I can just click on Ethernet and just teleport right to the Archer's Guild and go hand in my quest. Instead of having to run all the way across town, you can just port there. It's freaking awesome. Ah, wrong way. Freaking drunk. Ooh. Hemp and hemp. What does this give me? Intelligence? What the hell do I need intelligence for? Leather eye patch. That's one strength. Exchangeable for gill. I'll take that. Hell yeah. I have to go in here, talk to the guild master, hand in my quest. But yeah, one thing I noticed, especially while the graphic settings that I play on, which is max, I mean, everything is really detailed, really nice. Like, even down to, like, the floor. And just everything in general, it just looks nice. I, there's one thing that I wish they had, and maybe they do, and I just haven't discovered out how to do it yet. But like uh, in Rift, you can let's say go to your map and say, okay, I want to travel right here. 
I could just right click in Rift and it'll put a marker there and I can just travel there. Now, I don't know if there's a way to do that at all, but I haven't found it yet. So, but I got those quests done, so... Let's see, I need level 5 for that quest. Red means it's locked, so... I'm going to have to go find some little quests to do, which I'm level 3 right now, almost level 4. And, uh, let's see here. Achievements, character, armory chest, inventory. What do I have in my inventory? Exchangeable for gill. Whole bunch of random junk. Experience bonus. Ooh, 3% experience bonus. For 30 minutes. Plus 8% accuracy, 1 vitality, skill speed plus 1. That's pretty sweet. Got little buff foods. How far can I zoom out here? Wow! That's pretty far. Boost. Sprint. I'm going to go find some more quests. And once I find some more quests and get to level 5 and continue on with things and get out of this town, I am going to record some more footage. But... First, I am going to hop on down yonder, and I seen someone in here had a quest. This person at the bar, a little midget. Crunch, crunch, crunch. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this first video, and um, once I find a good spot to record some more footage, I will do that. But. Uh, Hopefully every day here for the next few weeks, I should have up a new video. So that is the plan, unless my internet dies on me or something like that. But I should be getting up new content every single day for this game. So look forward to that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.